Hello everyone and welcome to Zach's Garage and actually welcome to Portsmouth where we are taking the Van Haven truck, a couple of camper vans and a couple of race cars to the Le Mans Classic. We are racing our 1939 Jag uh, Jaguar Lagonda Le Mans and also our Fraser Nash Le Mans as well. But this video and the following videos are going to be brought to you by Van Haven, the people who have effectively put me up for this week with this epic van. So we're going to get on the ferry, we're going to get to Le Mans, and then I'm going to show you how to transform this very cool, lots of carbon fiber bodied van into a very comfortable sleeping arrangement. So how cool is this then? We have an old school VW camper. I believe it's a split screen. No, it's not a split screen. It's a very long one though. Right next to the craziest VW camper you could possibly imagine. So you've obviously got the front carbon splitter, the carbon arches. It's obviously on air ride, so it's dropped to the floor at the moment. It's got a totally reworked front bumper, rear diffuser, carbon mirrors, and also a cool carbon roof, which I'm gonna go into more detail in just a bit. Now obviously as it's Zach's garage we've got to come in full force so we've got the RT6 trailer with the Ford Ranger all labelled up looking awesome just in time for the Le Mans Classic. We've also got our camp van over there and that colossal red horse box is also with us. Moreover, I think we can probably work out the fact that it is the Le Mans Classic, judging by the array of wonderful vehicles that we have in the car park. Not excluding that Jag, which also looks pretty mad. We've got an old Morgan. Obviously, you guys have seen that I have done videos with the Morgans before. The most underrated car possibly imaginable. Such a cool thing. I think that's a DBS, though, so that's that's pretty snazzy. Um, a 911 Carrera. Don't, I know it's a Targa, but I don't know exactly which one it is. Got DB9. Lots of other things. But anyway... Solomon. Just spotted this, very nice Vantage Roadster. Yet another VW camper. So we are just lining up now to head out onto the ferry. We can actually see the top of the ferry there. It is a very late night crossing, it's an overnight one, so we're gonna get in our cabin, but unfortunately I can't actually sleep in this overnight, which is annoying, so I've gotta wait another, well not 24 hours, pretty much 24 hours, but what's quite cool, when you start the car, this is your airlift, so when you press the middle button once, it shows you it should be 40 at the front, 65 at the rear, and that is level. Um, although some of the people around here, when they uh, when they see this car lift up, they, uh, they love it. So yeah, right, let's rock and roll. Okay, so we are now in France, or well, France is out there, I'm still on the ferry, but it's now time to try and work out where the hell Le Mans is. Um, the first drama is that we've forgotten our race license. So, top two right there. Um, but yeah, let's just get on the road. So we've got VW Transporter, VW Transporter. Moving a bit further down, you've got the Carvel and then a proper VW transport. Look at that. Damn. Greeted by the Alcantara and leather steering wheel. Woo! Now, if you were wondering what the cornerstone of any nutritional breakfast is, well, it's got to be Prince chocolate biscuits. So a lot of people have come up to me recently seeing this van and going, oh, how'd you get over the speed bumps? Well, it's actually quite easy. You just press this little button here twice. You wait a second for it to set it, press it twice again, and there it is. We're now up, raised, it's effectively just a front nose lift, apart from it from lift all four. So about two hours later, we are now at Le Mans, and we are currently queuing to get in the queue to queue into the caravan site. So yeah, that's fun. How crazy is that then? The same Aston Martin Vantage Roadster that was at Portsmouth when we left is now one car in front of me. Tomorrow. Now, talking about awesome camper vans, how about that? I mean, talk about driven. This is awesome. So we've got a Porsche GT2 with the roof tent on top. It doesn't get much more Le Mans than this. So we've got this absolutely stunning Chevron. Couple of Porsches, well, four Porsches. I will say one thing, there's, oh my good God. I was not expecting that. So 
So then another very beautiful Lola. Look at the back of these, I love how square they are. And what's quite cool then is you see these VW transporters, these are actually used to shuttle team members, people who have got cars here around the campsite. Now I know we're here to talk about cars, but how about we talk about this for a second? Look at that for a trailer. The sides open up, turn into an awning. I mean, it's like, it's like everything in one. And two 300 SL race cars, 300 SL gull wings, and then right next to it, a very beautiful Maserati as well. And I would say second camper van award goes to this, a Unimog. Like what? Amongst all of these ridiculously expensive vehicles, you always got to appreciate a wagon. How about this absolutely stunning Lancia Delta Integrale? And these people have got a meat slicer in their camper. I mean, yeah, okay, the, these guys are winning. Now, I have absolutely no clue what it is. I know it's an Alfa Romeo and I know it's very pretty, so that's why I'm showing it to you. A couple of E types, but I just think they're a bit small. Mr. Brad 150, one for you. So now we're on the Segway. I'm not floating nor am I walking very quickly, but we are now going to head over to the paddocks to spot some serious cars. Not that that P72 wasn't serious, but nevertheless. So how about this then, a 911 race car. I'm not 100% sure which one it is, but nevertheless, a very, oh, it's a GT3 KMR apparently. So then we have the 300 SL Gullwing, we have the 300 SLS, which is, uh, yeah, just crazy, no roof. Then we have a 300 SL, but in race form, so you can see here, beautiful interior. This is definitely from Mercedes Direct. Um, you guys probably would have seen the fact that the most expensive car ever sold was a 300 SLR just the other day. So yeah, pretty cool. So I did think it was a bit of an odd coincidence to have a Dito Musso and then there's another one and there's another one then realised that Dito Musso are actually displaying here this year and this is a finished P72. Look at that. So welcome to Plateau 2, cars from 1949 to 1956, some of the greatest classic cars ever made. And we're going to start just over here with this beautiful Ferrari 250 MM, a 1953 car, very, very pretty indeed. Then we're going to go over to this, the AC Ace Bristol 1957, we're sitting next to a Cunningham CR C4R. And yes, I am reading these off a label. Uh, Maserati A6GS Spider, very pretty, very quick. A DB3S, now we all know that car, almost like the DBR1. Then we have a Fraser Nash Le Mans replica, right next to our Fraser Nash Le Mans. And then there will be another Fraser Nash Le Mans, and then a Fraser Nash Le Mans Coupe. Now if you want to know a crazy car, how about the Cadillac Le Monster? This is a Type 61 Spider, a 1950, it's a V8, 5 litre, and I tell you what, this thing, I saw this thing testing at Goodwood, and uh, to say it's nuts is an understatement. We've got a plethora of racing Heelys, we've got an Austin Healy 100, 100, I'm going to stop saying that, but yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a few of them. And this, look at these, wow, a Maserati 750. Okay, V1, this is a very, very famous car, Jaguar D-Type long nose. So we obviously have the short nose, but this is the long nose next to a Jaguar C-Type. 
possibly one of the slightest cars you can imagine, the XL1100, the Lotus. How about this then, a 1977 935 and check out the rear wing on this. I mean, yeah, I think he's got a bit of downforce. Another 512 BBLM from 1980. Taking a little look around, you can see it's got very reminiscent lines to the 512 BBI, which was obviously the road car, the BBLM, standing for Berlinetta Boxster, and BBI meaning injection and this is obviously the race version. Not one, but in fact, two BBLMs. It just keeps getting crazier. Now, for those of you who don't know, one of the most popular Le Mans car companies, well, Le Mans car companies, one of the companies that make Le Mans cars were Chevron. This being a Chevron B36, we in fact have a B15 in the museum. <laughs> 